Good morning, folks. Bryony Thomas here. I am the author and founder of Watertight Marketing, and I'm here for day four of 10, celebrating 10 years in business, sharing my lessons, my learnings, and also giving you um, some fantastic gifts to power your own entrepreneurial success. So I've popped the link in the comments, and if you want to take part with what we're doing today, do follow that, and you can find all the details. In terms of a lesson for today, what I wanted to share with you is the power of a third party perspective. As entrepreneurs, we can get, we're very close to our own creations. Um, and I always find that kind of being criticized on, on the business is a bit like someone criticizing your parenting skills. It's a bit of a, um, it feels very personal because, you know, we talk about our businesses being our babies. And yet, actually, sometimes getting that third party perspective is exactly what we need. But you need to take care with who you um, invite into your world as a trusted critic, an advisor, a mentor. Today, as um, our giveaway, I'm inviting you to consider using me as a sounding board on where you are in your business. So I have um, committed to putting aside 10 hours, 10 times one hour one-to-ones with me. And if you think that um, I would provide a valuable external perspective on what you're doing, do follow the link below. Um, what that will do is get you 15 minutes with Lou and our team, and she's going to have a conversation with you to make sure it's a good use of your time and a good use of my time for us to spend an hour with you bending my ear about your business. Because I have done that with trusted people, you know, so many times in my business. I've done it one to one. Um, I've always had a mentor of some kind over the last 10 years. Sometimes that has worked well and other times it hasn't. And so it's important to make sure that you match with mentors um, really, really well, that you know what it is you're looking for, that you're grown up enough to allow them to criticize, to allow them to kind of put their finger in the, in the saw if that's, what, that's what's necessary. You know, um, having that third party perspective is really important. Um, there's, uh, some of you might know Lucy Whittington. Um, Lucy does a, a whole talk on the fact that you can't see what's on the end of your nose. And I know there's often the, uh, the saying, isn't there, that a hairdresser can't cut their own hair. And you can't see your own business. Um, which means that you're often, um, so I've talked about someone criticizing and pointing out failings, but also you need someone to reflect back on you how brilliant it looks um, and how brilliant it is, actually. Because often when you're very close to something, you see, um, you know, you see the brush marks, but standing back, what people see is something very different. And you need someone to reflect that to you as well, to motivate you and move you forward. I went to New York in um in March for my 40th birthday. And I was um, so uh, overwhelmed to see the Monet um, lily, lily pads, the, the lily pads painting. It's huge. It's absolutely vast. And you have to stand back maybe four meters to, to really take in the whole image. I'm used to seeing it in books where you see it quite small and you can really get a sense of the whole image. But in, in reality, it's huge. And you have to step back to see it. When you're close, what you see is a smudgy mess. And when you stand back, you get the full picture. And there's that phrase in there of the seeing the big picture. And when I was um, standing in MoMA in New York, looking at the, the lily pads painting, the Monet painting, um, it, that phrase came into my head, can you see the big picture? And you have to stand back. And you can't stand back on yourself, which is why you need third parties who you trust in your world who can reflect back to you what it looks like from the outside. So when it comes to finding a mentor, how do you do it? Well, first of all, I would encourage you to ask. I would encourage you to identify people who you think would provide value in your business um, and ask whether they have capacity to work with you. I would absolutely encourage you to pay for that. So there are times when I've um, benefited from from free advice by virtue of the fact that I have a good relationship with somebody. But I have also you know, dug deep and paid for this. Um, and sometimes paying uh, 
changes the dynamic of the relationship. Somebody's not doing you a favor, they're there as a professional. And so, you know, these are things to think about when you're looking for a mentor in your business. I'm also a, a really big fan of mastermind groups, but that's very different than one to one very different. Um, I don't know about your experience. Um, so if you are joining me and want to comment about the third party perspectives you've had in your business. Um, and sometimes that mentor that you choose is, um, is there to give you a hug when someone has been cruel, when someone has given feedback that hasn't been helpful. Um, or maybe it is what you needed to hear, but it's made you wobble. And so having people around you who can give you a hug and say it's all right you know you're on the right path you're doing you're doing great work is also really important so the people that i would have around you in terms of third party perspectives are people who you trust to provide constructive critique and you have enough of a relationship with the, with them that you can look them eye to eye and know that they're doing it with your best intentions um, at heart i think you need people in your world who are your cheerleaders and you need people in your world who on your worst days will remind you of your best days. They are exceptionally important to have. And you need people in your world who are far enough removed from your business to see it as somebody unbiased. So those are the three sorts of third party perspectives I would encourage you to have. You need the constructive critique. You need the cheerleader. And you need someone with unbiased distance to reflect back to you whether you're creating a masterpiece. That, that, the sense I gave of seeing that Monet lily, uh, lily pads painting, you have to stand back to see it. You can't see the end of your own nose and a hairdresser can't cut their own hair. So even if you're an expert in giving business advice, even if you mentor other people, you will need your own mentor. And so um, the gift today is that if you believe that I would provide um, a healthy and constructive third party perspective on what you're doing, I, I am offering 10 people to take an hour of my time to do that. You will have a 15 minute chat with um, Lou Johnson in my team. Lou, we call her the chief door opener and she essentially holds the, the keys to my door and, and protects my diary fiercely. What she will do is make sure that an hour of my time will be valuable for you and that I will provide you with value. Because one of the things that's important when you're finding a mentor is to find someone who truly can um, add value and not sap your time or your energy, which is the opposite, of course, of what we need. So that's um, the lesson for today. That's the gift for today. And I would encourage you all to find that tr those trusted third parties, to remember to call them on your darkest moments, to remember to celebrate with them in your highs, and to always and put time in the diary at intervals for someone to give you a snapshot distance view on how you're doing i this really came home to me yesterday i had some some feedback from a client who wasn't happy with what we'd done it was it appeared cruel and painful to me from where i was sitting and so i took the time to speak to a couple of people who know me well we went through the feedback that I'd received and pulled out the lessons that were important to learn. But they also all took the time to hug me, to remind me of the brilliance in what we're doing as well, and to help me to stand back from the moment of painful critique, to take the learning, and also to remember that sometimes the feedback you're given is from a tainted perspective, a colored perspective, they have their own lens. And so it's so important that people you choose are people you trust and that you go to them in celebration and in moments of challenge. And if you think that I can do that for you, um, then please do uh, pop your application in for those 10 one hour one-to-ones with me.
They're going to happen in October, I'm going to tell you that now, because between now and the 14th of September, the Watertight Marketing team are full on putting together the details for our first ever conference. We're doing some incredible things behind the scenes. We're putting together a fantastic software tool, a diagnostic tool um, that I'm busy reviewing and creating content for. We have a lineup of um, eight, nine, ten, eleven speakers and we're going through all of their sessions and at the moment I'm crafting the workbooks for those two days so I'm going to be really honest with you if you apply for this today the one-to-one -one is going to happen in October so think about where your business might be then um, and consider whether I might be someone who would provide value. My favorite client testimonial was from Joe Reed, um, MD at Calvium, and she said, an hour with Bryony is better for decluttering your brain and seeing a clear path than two days in a health spa. So if you think an hour of my time would do that for you, then please apply. So much love from me. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.